Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Supra Chem Freak. In the previous video, we discussed the energy landscape of supramolecular polymerization. Herein, we shall discuss the pathway complexity and living supramolecular polymerization. Pathway complexity during supramolecular polymerization is referred to the competition of multiple aggregation pathways for the monomers. As discussed in the previous video, monomers can fall into thermodynamic minimum or get trapped in high energy non-equilibrium states. These can result in formation of more than one morphology or organization. Sometimes kinetic states such as sheets as shown here can form in the initial aggregation stages due to their low energy barrier of formation and hence can have major effects on the subsequent self-assembly process of thermodynamically most stable state such as fiber in this case. Although Gibbs free energy of formation for thermodynamic state is more negative than kinetic state, still the energy barrier of various processes involved play a key role to determine the pathway of supramolecular polymerization process. If the kinetic state is metastable, then it can act as a trap for the monomers to retard or slow the formation of thermodynamic state or if it is kinetically trapped, it can make it impossible to achieve at reasonable time scales as we discussed in the previous video. Sometimes the kinetic states exhibit interesting properties different than thermodynamically stable states. For example, graphene is kinetically trapped state of carbon and diamond is its thermodynamically most stable state. The two provide distinct properties. Similarly, in supramolecular polymers, the states can have different properties such that they can be morphologically different, exhibit opposite chirality or show different optoelectronic, mechanical and biomedical properties. In supramolecular polymerization, there is a possibility to trap the kinetic state to explore and extract interesting properties. For this, preparation protocols can be optimized, such as the kinetic state is preferred and nanostructures do not re-equilibrate back with other states with low energy. In the previous video on supramolecular mechanism, we discussed the cooperative supramolecular polymerization, where Monomers undergo a non-spontaneous nucleation and spontaneous elongation process. The process is marked by critical temperature and concentration during the polymerization process. In general, the overall process is spontaneous and hence a fast, uncontrolled nucleation and growth process is observed with no time-dependent kinetics resulting in high polydispersity index. Interestingly, pathway complexity during supramolecular polymerization process can retard the uncontrolled nucleation process resulting in kinetic evolution of supramolecular polymer. This is depicted by a sigmoidal growth along with a lag phase, which is a hallmark for cooperative growth resulting in low polydispersity index. A point to note is that Sometimes, pseudo lag phases can be observed in isodecimic system if the experimental method is not sensitive to aggregates below a certain threshold size. Recently, the pathway complexity has been shown as a method to control the nucleation step by slow buffering of monomers to obtain supramolecular polymers of low polydispersity. Parallel to living polymerization in covalent polymers, a new field in supramolecular chemistry has begun called living supramolecular polymerization. It deals with control over supramolecular polymerization process for narrow dispersity, controlled length or size of polymers and formation of supramolecular block copolymers which otherwise was not possible. The requirements for living supramolecular polymerization are as follows. The thermodynamic state should follow cooperative supramolecular polymerization mechanism. 
and there should be retardation of spontaneous nucleation depicted by lactine and sigmoidal growth. If these two conditions are met, then it is expected that in presence of a seed which is an existing supramolecular polymer, the monomers should directly undergo elongation process bypassing the nucleation step which is depicted by non-sigmoidal growth with no lag phase. This phenomena is called seeding similar to the seeding in crystallization. Interestingly, the structural aspects can be easily controlled by variation of seed to monomer ratio. There are few approaches to obtain living supramolecular polymerization. First is using pathway complexity where the kinetic state can either be an off pathway intermediate or an on pathway intermediate. If you do not understand these terms, please watch our previous video on energy landscape of supramolecular polymerization. These intermediates can be easily deduced from the kinetics of polymerization. If we increase concentration, there is higher formation of an off pathway intermediate, hence takes a longer time to convert into thermodynamic state. Hence, in this case, lag phase has direct dependency on concentration. In case of an on pathway intermediate, the increase in concentration pushes the system towards thermodynamic state and hence the lag phase is inversely proportional to concentration. In an alternate approach, the monomer is trapped in a conformational closed state via intramolecular interactions such as hydrogen bonding with low propensity to aggregate. This can act as a buffer for monomer in open conformation and hence retards spontaneous supramolecular polymerization. Sometimes the closed conformation can stay in a deep trap and thus do not open or unfold in reasonable time scales. In those cases, an initiator molecule can activate or trigger its unfolding process by replacing intramolecular interactions to intermolecular interactions resulting in the formation of complex and then further to supramolecular polymerization. This is similar to chain growth polymerization in covalent polymers. Here, number of initiator molecule control the number of chains of supramolecular polymers. A third approach is chemical reaction driven where an inactive monomer that has no propensity to aggregate due to its solubility in solvent is converted to an active monomer that can undergo a cooperative supramolecular polymerization. The concentration of activator and rate of formation of active monomer determine the kinetics of supramolecular polymerization. The activator can either add or remove chemical moieties from the inactive monomer structure. Additionally, photochemical reactions can also be used in a similar way. This approach uses external agents to control the supramolecular polymerization. This approach is inspired from natural systems such as actin filaments which uses chemical fuels for their polymerization. Using orthogonal reaction pathway, natural systems control the depolymerization process in a temporally programmable way, which shall be discussed in our upcoming videos on transient supramolecular polymerization. Thanks for watching this video. Please share your thoughts via comments and keep supporting us. Thank you.